that was fun. Getting ready to head down to the Cool Mini or Not Expo, traveling in the car with these two silly babies. Yeah. Um, we are going to be heading down to Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to drop the kids off with my mom and dad, and it's cool because I get to see them for Mother's Day too, but I'm excited to see all the new stuff from Simon Games. Let's hit the road. Finally made it to the Cool Mini or Not Expo here in the Hyatt. Everybody's lined up to get their swag bags. Not too many people yet, but I'm sure a lot of people are coming in. But uh, super awesome, super excited. They're uh, gonna be opening up the hall in just a little bit. But yeah, got to hang out with some of the Dice Tower crew last night. Suzanne can't get into the pie cafe, so sad. <laughs> now we have oh. some Everybody's like vlogging. To, 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 to break in. <laughs> How's it going, Sam? What's up, dude? So, hanging out with the Dice Tower crew. Look, out, man. Here's our see He's trying to escape the camera. There's David from Man vs. Meeple way down there. Hi, David. <laughs> Awesome. But yeah, hoping to get to do lots of awesome stuff here at the Cool Mirror Not Expo. Stay tuned for all the awesome stuff that's going to happen. I'm going to be showing a lot of games off and a lot of different previews of things. So, see you there. On your right. Hey, I'm here with Vernon. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Doing all sorts of painting with the dice tower. We were just talking about how um, this is a convention that actually has a lot of painting stuff you can do, and there's like professional painters. Yes, stuff as well. Jen Healy from Simon, um, one of their professional painters, is here, and it's she's just amazing. And I'm looking forward to talking gotcha. to her. So, what are you going to do, like in the painting sphere, while you're here? Do you think? Um, I know there's a painting competition, a speed painting. So I'm going to mm -hmm. enter that because everybody knows that I'm a pretty fast painter. Nice. And there's a bash. Um, paint kit where you just put a bunch put of, a bunch of stuff together. Yep. Yeah, my wife did that last year and she just, like, we came to the expo, she she's she plays board games but not a whole lot, but she just had a blast like gluing together all sorts <laughs> of different parts. Like, I was over there just playing board games, I was recording videos, and she was just gluing a ton of stuff together, so that was super fun. Yeah, that sounds like, like super fun to me other than playing board games. And I think they're doing like a Song of Ice and Fire like the speed paint yes. thing. So where I'm they're like trying to, to figure out which is the best painting from each faction and who who picks the most of whatever faction. Yeah. So I'm cool. hoping I get the Hound for that miniature. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Just so do they have ones besides Rob and I'm not Jamie? sure if they brought any you're like, other you're like, ones. But I need the Hound because yes. yeah. big guns. Yeah, give me the Hound. So I'm asking everybody at the convention here, Vernon, what is your, if, if you had to pick one of the miniatures, like monster miniatures from Blood Rage or Rising Sun, which one would you say speaks to you the most or is your spirit animal? What monster miniature? Blood Rage or any Simon game? I mean, we can do any Simon game. Okay. Um, um, because I would actually have to go with. You're going to go with the others? Yes. The embodiment of wrath. There you go. Yeah. Or the second one would be war. Nice. From the apocalypse. Don't you like murder people in that game? Yes. Well, you, I do. Um, that's why nobody ever plays with me anymore. Yeah, I heard they, they kicked you out of the live stream after that happened. Uh, they did. They took me home. <laughs> it was cool to see Vernon here. So. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Just recorded a board game breakfast segment with Chris Renshaw about role playing games. So check yeah. that out on Board Game Breakfast. So, what are you excited about for it here at CMON? Um. Playing all my favorite games. All your favorite games? That's all like your favorite games are Simon? Mostly. Everybody's awesome. like, what are you doing here? You play RPGs. I like, my, my, my Venn diagram is RPGs and then Simon and Fantasy Flight You're like games. like big miniatures. Yeah, make exactly. it happen. Yeah, pretty awesome. much. So when's Simon coming out with a role playing game? They need to I make that happen. I need to. So, <laughs> funny story, like a couple years ago, or like a year or two ago. They've got lots of crazy settings so, they can do it so, in. You know? So Tom Vassell made a slip Viking up. Viking role playing game? What? So Tom Vassell made a slip up on a video not, uh, a while ago where he was going to talk about they were coming out with a new Black Plague set when they were going to do Green Horde. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he said they're coming out with a new Black Plague RPG or something like that oh, instead. You started I was out. like, that would be amazing! <laughs> it's it's a little bit RPG, but <laughs> not RPG the way we think of RPGs. Yeah. But yeah. So another question that I'm going to be asking like a bunch of people that I see around the con is if you had one like miniature from Kulmini cool or not that was like your spirit animal or your spirit miniature or like the miniature that just speaks to you, what would it be? Oh, it's it's got to be one of the one of the big ones from Blood Rage. Uh, I'm kind of tied between like the the fire uh -huh. giant and then there's the 
I think it's the frost golem. It's got the big yeah. hammer. Dude, the fire giant has the freaking infinity gauntlet. Like yeah. the glove he's wearing, I painted it up to look to ju just like the infinity gauntlet. Oh, that's so cool. it's so hilarious. Yeah, like, it's, it's Dude, this one is of them. Thanos. It, it's got to be one of them. Yeah, yeah. Awesome guys. Well, thanks, Chris, and hopefully have fun. What's up, man? How about Christian Lineheart? Overproduced. Come on, super dry. You're, uh, yeah. Currently playing oh. Gizmos Sorry. with Tom. That was. Not, not nice. Oh, yeah. Are you excited? Are you no. excited? Did you get the this right thing? This game is thing? not fun at all. Oh, yeah, I really like this game. This is my nice. second time blue. playing. I'm really having fun. <laughs> nice. I feel like miles. it would be compared to Potion Explosion, but there's so much more going on. It's not compared to Potion Explosion. Well, I mean, people are going to look at that. No, no, garbage. It's, 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 it's gave you false information. Right, but what I'm saying is, it's not like Potion Explosion. Not even a little. Right, okay. It's very engine building. I'm not trying to build all the stuff here. Yeah. It's an engine building game. So far, the thing I find it close to is Arcane Academy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's really cool. You get to collect all the also it's my turn. Oh, is it? It's been my turn half the game. <laughs> Mandy and Suzanne, how's it going, guys? Yeah. Have you guys been having fun? So yeah. much fun. It's good. I mean, wow. lots of games, and <laughs> we're doing the vloggy thing, too. <laughs> um, so what have you guys played that you've been excited about so far? I liked Council of Four. That was a really good one for me. And Modern Art. Can you believe I've oh, never played nice. that? And Suzanne taught that to me, and I was like, what? And Robert, by the way, super cutthroat. Don't ever play a game with Robert. Yeah, yeah. don't play, Robert's what was it? Worst. 13 yeah. guests or something like that? Yeah. I think you like that. 13, 13, clues. 13 yeah, clues. 13 Clues. 13 Clues is a really don't, fun Don't play with game. Robert. Oh, yeah. It's cool. a shark. So I've been asking everybody, um, as far as like, since this Kumini or not, or Simon yeah. has like tons of miniatures, like, if there was a miniature from Kumini or not that, uh, like, best personified you or you best thought is like the miniature, like, this is my miniature, what miniature would that be? Oh my goodness. I don't even know. I would probably pick something from Arcadia Quest. I don't know which character exactly, but I love the Arcadia Quest stuff, so yeah, yeah. I'd have to pick one of those. So I think for me it would be something from Song of Ice and Fire. Is yeah. Nice. yeah. I mean, that's more in my realm, so I think that would be more on my own. Is there a specific Song of Ice and Fire character that you're like, yeah. Not off the top of my head. It's not a game of actually Cersei. Played you're all yet. about Cersei. I, I see how not, it is. I am not Cersei at all. Backstab. That Shame. Is, that is, Shame. That is Robert. Okay, that is Robert. I'm he, more of like He a also Ned, looks like Cersei. I'm so. more of a Ned Stark, you know? Like, I want to help people, bring people together. And when they're not honorable, lop their heads. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, cool. So, super exciting to uh, hang out with you guys here. Thanks and uh, yeah. we'll see you guys all around. Peace. So, one of the cool things about Cooling and Night Expo is they do a lot of stuff with painting miniatures. So, uh, they actually have like these kit bash things where you can put together all these different miniatures and things like that. And then they're doing their um, speed painting of the Game of Thrones miniatures, which uh, I did uh, a little bit of. I tried to. Um, and um, then they've got some like ones that they're doing for competitions and things like that, which all look pretty cool. So uh, I guess they're doing crystal brush stuff too. So if you win the competition, you can uh, get awards for it as well. So definitely super cool because they emphasize painting all their cool minis that they have in these different games. So we're doing the Song of Ice and Fire speed painting. We got all these paints and all this stuff. What's going on, Chris Rindraw? And uh, we are painting up all the different stuff. And I got my mini that I painted here. We actually have some extra time. But I've got to stop soon to go do an interview. But meh, I could do better if I spent a little bit more time with it. But it looks okay, right? That shield is good. I like your shield. Yeah. Cool. How about yours, Chris? Uh, I mean, I, it was it was it was looking kind of iffy there, but. Uh... You showed me some dry brushing stuff, so I managed to get it a little uh, gold plated. Your guys has a bloody sword. Yeah. Oh he's yeah, been, that's he's I been did hacking and slashing. I did the dry brushing, uh, a little bit of blood on there. Trevor is going with the Rob Stark. <laughs> I'm not even gonna show it. it. Show it. Go. Show it. There it is. Dude, I, I love it. I like the cake. Get in there. Get the in there. Dude, the cake actually looks super solid. Another uh, hour, hour and a half. Dude, yeah. I love that. So we'll see. But yeah, Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer. <laughs> It looks terrible. Derek Porter, what's going on, man? Dude, I just played the others for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. And now you're trying to find Vernon to tell him how. Yeah, because I, I, I we, my set my bag down on top of the player aid, and we packed <laughs> up the game, and then I picked up my bag, and I need to go find him to return this. Nice. Is there any games that you're super excited about playing here? Or? I want to play Council of Four really badly. Nice. 
Cool, cool. So, you definitely got to make that happen. Yeah, I'm going to try to squeeze that in. So at some I've point. been asking one question to a lot of the people that I've been talking to on these things, and that is, if there was one cool mini or not mini that was like your spirit animal or a mini that just speaks to you from any of their games, what mini would that be? It is the Fenrir, the Kickstarter exclusive yes. model for Fenrir for Blood Rage. Not only is that model awesome, yeah. but the special ability is amazing. Yeah, and I, I don't actually own it. It's like, I, I, I'm going to try to get it in the promo store. There. Yeah, crazy. One of the things here is you can get like old Kickstarter promos by spending a certain amount in the store. You get tickets and you can get those different promos. That's one of the ones I was looking at too. I was like, Fenrir, oh my goodness. It's such, it's such a cool part of the game that uh, and it's like, be awesome to have. If I, it's, it's like, if I was going to paint, I, I don't paint. But yeah, yeah. if I could paint my copy of Blood Rage and I had that one, that's the first one I would I'm about to say, Fenrir is so easy too because you just paint them black and then just dry brush them. Yeah, I know. Some gray, it's awesome make it super awesome. But I just, I love, I love the way that mini looks. That's like, hands down, my favorite cool mini mini. Awesome guys, well let's talk to some other people. So we are playing yeah. Rising yeah. Sun, game with guests, with uh, all the awesome stuff. The Fox Clan is about to betray me, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty scared. He's like, he's like, he's like all spread out all over the map. There's nothing bad about that. He's just gonna like bomb in every single place I'm at, attack me. We're still in the first round of the game. He's got stuff where he just wants all of his guys to die. I'm actually worried about my ally. Um, dragonflies flying everywhere. You're pretty spread out. Setting up for next round, I guess. And uh, Trevor, Trevor, locked down. Locked down. My island. Get off. Who would have put a commie there to lock you down? I don't know who would do something like that. But yeah, we're playing Rising Sun. Good times. Hopefully it goes good. Tom Basil, what's going on? So, how's your Cool Night Expo been so far? So far, it's done. <laughs> I know. Like, you weren't here very long at all because you got graduations going on. Yeah, so. yeah. No, it's, it was really fun. Uh, I mean, here's the thing, though. I mean, I always have fun. I, I can't ever say things like, like, oh, man, I have to go to that gaming thing and play games with all these cool people. Right. Well, I mean, well, let's not push the cool people part, but... Uh, some some people cooler than others. Yeah, did I mean we you played play gizmos games? with me, so gizmo. that was amazing, right? I, I am really bad at gizmo. I mean, it I is did clearly terrible the first game. It is clearly the worst game that I am I played. Second a, second game, I rocked it, so I was pretty happy about that. I came in fourth place twice. Wait, four. really? Yes. I feel like you were ahead of me in the game we played, but maybe not. I was not. Okay, I wasn't. I wasn't counting your points that hard. I counted yours. I was <laughs> okay. not. Cool, but cool. Gizmo is my game of the con, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Uh, although I keep going and looking at the Arcadia Quest mounts. Oh, um, yeah, because you're a big Arcadia Quest guy. Yeah, 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 I'm looking at those, but you're I didn't like, get a chance Eric, to play that. I need to play that to make it happen. I don't know. I, I can wait till it comes out. Yeah. You know, so, but yeah, it's been a good time. Yeah, so I've been asking everybody, like, if you had one cool mini or not mini that was like your spirit animal or like the mini that's like represents Tom Vassell. Maybe you already have an answer for this. What would it be? Okay, so we're gonna disclude the one Tom that's Rick. called Tom Rick. Um, I mean, it could be from Rising Sun, Blood Rage. The others would be you a lot, right? With all the tentacles and stuff. Oh wow, this is a tough one. Yeah, there's um, so many great ones. Because right, because the, the first match came to mind was not not from Kuman or not. Um, I'll go with the Monkey King. Nice. The is Monkey that Monkey King from Arcade Quest? Quest? Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. yeah. Or the awesome. monkey queen, or the monkey, this is a little monkey pet, some kind of monkey. Awesome, well it's been a ton of fun, so thanks Tom. Well, this is the end of the blog. I had an awesome time at CMON Expo. Played a ton of awesome games, lots of new things. Got to interview tons of amazing people, talk about all the new stuff that's going to be coming out from CMON soon. Super excited about that. Definitely an amazing convention where you get to paint and play all sorts of games, and I'll definitely be checking it out next year. So thanks for joining me, and uh, make sure to check out all the other videos that I'm doing on CMON, especially the Eric Lang interview, because it was a blast. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.